Shalom Yashirala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim Rachakwadash. Right before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. Who still guard her to the highways and byways and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy into the Yakims out there who has pushed the truth from the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the rest of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahusha, Bahashem, Rakhak, Wadash, what the people here or what do they forbear? And I'm back at it with another lesson through the spirit of Yah by Shimon Shah by Shimon Kakwadash Shah Amaf, Spirit of Truth. You know, the name of this lesson is going to be called uh, Esau and the Other Nations Will Pay for Literally Everything, man. Esau and these other heathen nations, man, are literally going to pay for everything that they've done unto the children of Israel. These so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians ain't even feasting their faces, man. Who look like the other nation, but are Israelites, man. The Esau and these other nations are going to pay for that, man. So without further ado, we're going to go right to the scriptures and break it down as we go. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. And it reads, If any man have an ear, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Right, which means if you can get understanding of the scriptures that what it's about to say, man, to get understanding, understand it. And it reads, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, right? Who let the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians into captivity, man? The so-called white man and these other heathen nations, man. Because even if you read in the scriptures, man, these other nations did have the children of Israel under the captivity, man. You know? And even in um, even a time of slavery, man. Yeah, other nations had us in captivity, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So who did that primarily was Esau Edom. Esau Edom had, was the big part of of our downfall, man, of our um of our captivity, our slavery. And it reads on, he that he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword, right? So he that killeth with the sword, what's the modern day sword, the gun, man? And what's also the sword, man? The also the sword is any killing instrument, man. You know? This technology, you know what I'm saying? His nano, this technology means like his technology, you know, these microwaves, you know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much, like, through the slack of the spirit, yeah, pretty much his technology, man. You know, and the modern day sword is the gun, you know, primarily. But there's other weapons too, there's other killing instruments too. So he that killeth with the sword, he that killed us with the literal sword, he that killed us with the gun. With these diseases, with these pestilences, man, you know, with these the uh, uh, different philosophies and doctrines which destroyed the minds of our people, man, they're gonna be killed with the sword, man. You know, they're gonna be destroyed. You know, and this is talking about Esau, Edom, and the other nations, man, who had the Israelites in the slavery, man. You know, and that that and that misused who who uh treated them wrong. Uh, here is the patience and the faith of the saints, right? Here is the faith of the patience of the saints. And who is patiently waiting for Yahweh by Shimei Yahushua, whom in the world is going to call God and Jesus Christ to come back, man? The saints, man. And the saints are the Israelites. Let me prove that, the Spirit. Let me prove that. The saints are the Israelites, primarily the elect of the nation of Israel, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 148, verse 14. He exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel. Let me read that one more time. Even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye Yahweh. Right? So the saints that the Bible talks about are the Israelites. These Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which these other nations put in the captivity, you know, which they're going to pay for that, man. Everything that the so-called white man promotes, everything that the so-called white man does, and these other nations do, man. They're going to pay for that, man. They're going to pay for that um, double, man. You know? So any, literally anything that harms our people or that's wicked upon the earth, Esau, Edom, and these other nations are going to pay, man. 
Who are the other nations? You so called Chinese, Japanese, you so called Africans, you so called East Indians, you so called Arabs, you so called Hawaiians, Samoans, you know, so called old to me, you so called white people, you know, Caucasians that you like to be called, which means cave dweller, you know. Uh, you are the heathen nations, man, you know. As a matter of fact, let's get Colossians. Let's go to the book of Colossians because this this this, this, this is on payback, man. This is the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse twenty-five, and it reads, "But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done." Right? Which is the wrong that the so-called white man and these other nations did, man? You know what I'm saying? They had they they um they went overboard in in, in during the time of our slavery, man, or even today, man. You know they, they used to chop our nuts off. They used to rape our our, our, our little boys, our, our our men. You know what I'm saying? They they did uh um they 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 promote abortions. You know, they 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 they, they, they took it overboard, man. You know, so the slavery, the captivity that the so-called white men did, and these other nations did to our people, they're gonna receive for the wrong which they have done, which means that we're gonna get them back for everything that they did unto us that was wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? These these wicked laws, man. That the, that the cops can shoot you hands up, don't shoot. You know what I'm saying? But you still get shot down dead in the street, and what? And you could be either cop could be on camera, and and he'll still get he'll still get acquitted, man. That's wicked, you know. That's wicked as all hell. You know that's not justice. You know, but he's gonna pay for that. And there is no respectable persons, right? So the men, women, the kids, the child. No matter what either nation you come from, man, you know, you, you the Lord's not a respectable persons, man. You know, so the men, women, the children is going to get it, man. You know, you know, I saw the video of an Edomite saying that a so-called black man stole her, uh, her, 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 her snack, man, or whatever it was, her cookie. You know what I'm saying? They're going to pay for that, man. They are going to pay for that, you know, even if it's, even if it is a two third. Nonetheless, even when he died, man, he's still an Israelite, man. You're going to pay for his death, man, because you're the one responsible for it, Esau Edom, for the, art of, for the philosophies that you push, you know. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16, and it reads, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, right? Devour us with these GMO foods, with these gangs, with these drugs, with these unrighteous laws. You know, with these murders, you know, the, the so-called white man uh, murder somebody and then blame it on a so-called black, so-called black Latino and Native American man. They had nothing to do with it. And they spend 30 years in prison and then all of a sudden they get out and they say, yeah, you was innocent the whole time. But yeah, but this man just spent 30 or 20, 30 to 40 years in prison, man. And now he's saying he's innocent. The so-called white man go pay for that, man. And these other nations. You know, let me read that over again. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all the devoured thee shall be devoured, right? They devoured us, man. You know, with these very unrighteous laws, with this uh, unrighteous decrees, man. Ultimately, with the with the doctrine, the philosophies that they push, man. You know, starting off with the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. You know, hey, man, they're going to pay for that, man. Payback is coming, man. Dag nabbit. They always talking about some doggone love, 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 love. Ain't no love coming, man. Payback is coming. Recompense is coming. Revenge is coming, man. You know? As a matter of fact, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get it as the righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation unto them that trouble you. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. It is seen as a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right, man? To bring pure hell, man. To bring pure hell. And the definition of the word recompense means the restitution made or punishment inflicted for a wrong, for a wrong or injury, man. So for a wrong, for an injury. What the Colossians 3 and 25 say? Um, he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, man. So the so-called white man and these other nations come up with these unrighteous decrees, come up with these GMO foods. Come up with the so-called with these with these uh the for doctrines the philosophies, man. They're gonna receive for the wrong which they have done. They're gonna get payback, man. Payback is coming on to them, man. 
real, real soon. You know? So back in Jeremiah 30 and 16, you know, it's a righteous thing with the most high to make up his tribulation unto them that trouble you. Who trouble us, man? The so-called white man and these other nations, man. And yeah, two-thirds of our people, they trouble us a lot. You know what I'm saying? But, right in the, but this lesson is going to be on two, uh, Esau and uh, the other nations, man. You know, we're going to bring them tribulation, pure hell, man. We're going to be pure. We're going to bring them pure hell in the kingdom of heaven. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible, man. Because the scripture says they're going to receive double, man. You know, this is the book back in Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Right? All they that devour us with these GMO foods, with the doctrines, the philosophies, man, with the murders, with these unrighteous laws, man. They're going to be devoured, man. In the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be beaten. Like, man, the scripture says that they're gonna we're gonna rule over them with a rod of iron, man. You know what I'm saying? And beat them. You know what I'm saying? We be beating the crap out of these heathens, man. You know, starting off with the so-called white man. The so-called white man is gonna get it the worst, man. He's gonna get extermination too. You know? And the reason all thine adversaries, which means enemies, every one of them shall go into captivity, right, man? So all our adversaries, man. The, the 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 heathen nations as a whole is our adversaries, man. And two thirds of our people that think like the other nations, they are our adversaries too, man. But like I said, this is primarily we talk about the uh natural born Gentiles, man. The heathen nations. Um uh, uh but the two thirds they're gonna be destroyed too, man, right along with them, man. They're gonna be destroyed right along with them. But they but in the kingdom of heaven, they're gonna come back on the laws of the elect in the kingdom of heaven though. And they're going to have the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Lord because you know, they're ultimate, they are Israelites. They just, they're physically Israelites, but mentally they're not. And it reads, uh, And all they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all they that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Right, man? So all they that, ra that robbed us, man, for all our, our, all of, of all our goods, of our, for our heritage, man, you know what I'm saying? For for everything that <laughs> that we that we, re we represent, man, the so-called white man, these other nations, man. You know, hey, the Lord's gonna pay you back, man. In the kingdom of heaven, we will get our revenge, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we will get our ultimate revenge. You know. So um, let's go from there to the book of Galatians. Chapter 6, verse 7. In the reads, this is the book of Galatians 6 and 7. In the reads, be not deceived. The most high is not my right. So you can't deceive us, man. The so-called white man tried to set up his new world order to, 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 to deceive the masses, man. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? The elect other nation of Israel was Lord willing we are part of that number. They're not going to be deceived, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be watching and praying. You know what I'm saying? And asking for more spiritual discernment. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't deceive the elect. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall you also reap, right, man? So you sow nothing but rape, robbery, and murder, and, uh, um, uh, uh, how should I say, false doctrines, man? That's exactly what you're going to get. But we're, but we're not going to teach false doctrine, man. We're going to have the 100%. Well, we're gonna well, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh we're gonna know everything in the kingdom of heaven, you know what I'm saying? But these other nations not, you know. So they're gonna get paid back. They're gonna be too busy getting beat <laughs> by us, man. Lord willing, we be at that number of the elect, you know. You're gonna reap, right? Rob you a murderer that you that that that, that you sold, man. Payback, man. Payback, you know. Payback for everything, man. If, if, if every little thing that we have to go through and suffer here in these wicked, in this wicked super kingdom called America, man, you will get, we we will get recompense, man. You will be uh, paid back for that, man. For everything, you know. Even if it's a small thing, it don't matter, man. You can get paid back for it, man. The uh, double, man. Double. You you like you like an ears to light up. For stealing the candy and, and sending the five years in jail. Well, guess what? You stole the whole entire land. So guess what? <laughs> man, shoot, man. The king, man. I'm going to close out with that through the spirit, man. Because I don't want to go to. I don't want to rant without bringing out the scriptures. That was about it through the spirit. 
You know, Lord willing, this video is edifying for y'all considered as watching. I want to give all honor and glory and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim Rachakwadash. Next up, the Boan, so our Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, and peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the Yakins that they're pushing the truth from the four corners of the earth. With that, Shalawam, Kormashirala.